Zell, boy, army. I am in a good mood. My boy is Aston Villa. Just managed to get a big point away to Chelsea. And we hit a 30 and 0 on the road to glory this week. I had not played FIFA in a week. I'd not played a game in an actual week. I'd taken a bit of a break over the Christmas period. Hope you've all had a great Christmas. Um, so I had a week off and I came back. I decided not to play my main account this week because I wanted to get some more coins on the road to glory. So we were playing 30 games all in a row. And we managed to hit a big 30 and 0 in only the third week on the road to glory account. It proved like by road to glory, I mean an account that I've not spent a penny on. I've not put any money into this account other than bought the game. So we've hit a 30 you know in the first week. Let's see where we finished. We'll go to the champs channel so you can see my fixtures. By the way, let me know you guys support. I'm interested who my viewers support. Put in the comments what team you support. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. Every day I'm putting out content dedicated to helping you guys improve at the game. Gameplay tutorials. I'll be putting my tactics out tomorrow for the 30 and 0 that I just got on the road to glory. I put highlights out, player reviews, all these type of things, helping you guys get better at the game. Zell Boy is here to help you. But yeah, let me know what team you, you guys support. A 30 only gets you 140. Yeah, that is crazy. There's a lot of 30s on PlayStation. Okay. In our game for the um, 30, we played a guy who's hit top 200 before. He was 27 and 1 when we matched him, so that was a pretty tough game, to be honest. Um, we matched quite a few elite players, to be honest. <clears throat> 20 and 2. That guy was actually good. I was 3 0 down in that game, so I'll show you some highlights from that game. Another elite player. Uh, another elite. <clears throat> another 6. So the six elites on there, and I think a couple of them probably are elite as well, but just doesn't always register. Like there's a good chance that guy ended up hitting elite or was around there. Um, some fairly tough matchmaking. Let me show you the team that we hit the 30 and over. I'll talk you through the team. <clears throat> so I'm probably going to get a few of you now saying, oh, there's no way that's a road to glory after three weeks. How have you got such an insane team? We had some pretty good pack luck. I'm not going to sit here and pretend it's an awful team, but it is far from a great team at this point in the game. It is a good team, but it was not. it's not an unreal team at this point. We got Mane from the objectives for 100 assists. So that was very lucky. We got um, Mbappe from the 83 pack from Icon Swaps and Varane from the 85 pack. The rest of them have even been bought, SBCs, or um, we got Son Red Pick. Um, I'll show you how the team's set up in-game. So, that's my tactic. I'm not going to go into my tactic in depth today. That'll be tomorrow's video. So, make sure you subscribe. Tune into that one tomorrow. Um, 4 4 2, second variation. And the interesting thing here is Adama Traore was playing at centre-back. And my word, he put in a shift this week, boys. He was insane. Maybe the best centre-back I've used based on what I saw yesterday. I'd be interested to see how we do against pros using like R9. Is he a bit small? I don't know. But his recovery speed, his strength, ability on the ball, he was insane. Um, looking at the team, Nick Pope isn't quite as good as like an informed Courtois. But for an 82 and a cheap keeper with good links, he is insane. I absolutely love Pope in net. Mendy and Walker, even on 7, Ken was still fantastic. Um, they're probably the best non-icon fullbacks who don't have a special card. Obviously, now we're getting special fullbacks like that Akuna. Especially if he gets an upgrade, could be the best left back who's not an icon. Um, but gold cards, Mendy and Walker are the best fullbacks. Traore, like I said, was an absolute beast. You can't go wrong with Varane. He was crazy. Marquinhos, as a defensive player, you do really notice him. He really does put a shift in. He just, he just, oh, I don't know. Like, he just annoys me a bit. Like he's a bit clunky on the ball. He can't shoot. He's good physically, but not great. So he loses the 50-50s against some of the elite players. He's He's good, but not elite. That's probably the best way I could say it. De Bruyne, his team of the year is going to be the best like creative attacking CDM on the game. My philosophy um, on this game is to have a 4-4-2 with two CDMs. One of them's the destroyer, so that's Marquinhos. The other's the creator, that's Kevin De Bruyne. And um, the creator, like in this role, I think the team of the De Bruyne, there won't be a better one all year. 
He's going to be at least a 98. Um, the five-star weak foot's amazing. Uh, he finishes nearly every chance. He can dribble well. On this game, he's not as clunky as last year because the dribbling stat matters more. He's pretty good defensively. But when he gets his team year upgrade, what a card it'll be. Awar was really good. Like, surprised me how good he was. And he was playing on seven chem. So when I get him on 10 chem and um, put a hunter on him, so he has 99 excel, 95 sprint, 99 finishing, he's going to be a really good player. I don't think his SBC is available anymore. If you do have him, though, he's really good. Good Good chemistry links, obviously, being French. Mbappe, I don't love him. Um, you're probably surprised to hear that, but I think he's good. Out wide, he is amazing, I guess, but I don't love him up front. Mane and Son. I'm just going to show you the records. So Son's is pretty good. I mean, yeah, Son's is really good. It's two, over two goals or assists a game. That's still pretty crazy, to be honest. Um, in this, he gets on full chem. After my top 100 rewards, I'm going to um, sell De Bruyne. I think and put a wire. I love De Bruyne, but it's to be able to get Neymar in. I'm going to put a wire at CDM and um, have uh, yeah Neymar up front instead of Son. And then yeah, so we should look at Son stats. Look at Mane's. Like, what on earth am I seeing? That is 249 goal contributions in 71 games. He's about that's about three and a half goal contributions a game. And you have to think, how many games do I get rage quits in where people don't last to even the second half? Like, guy is unreal. The best player, I can, ugh, best player I can compare him to is probably um, Prime Eusebio, but without the weak foot. And I love Prime Eusebio. Prime Eusebio is better because the weak foot allows him to go both ways perfectly. Um, but the, yeah, this Mane is insane. And if you can get him linked in, with like an informed Gomez, uh, that new Firmino, then you've got an absolutely amazing player that will last. This Mane is near enough end game right now. So insane player. Can only imagine how good his team of the season will be. He, there's an outside chance Mane gets a team of the year. I don't think he will, but who knows. Um, that is the team though. Uh, Van Bergen tended to come off the bench. Uh, I had Varay, who I've sold now, but he was a sub. Uh, Pretty good. Like, Tavernier as well. He's a really good sub. I put him on at CDM. Best best non-icon right back in the game now with all the special cards, I would say. But a bit hard to link into a road to glory team. Let's get into some highlights. I'll show you some clips from some of the games. See the team in action. I'm going to show you some clips here from my uh, last game. The game against someone who was 27-1. and So, EA really did give me a test to make sure we hit the 30 here. And on PlayStation... If you do not hit a 30, you have a very little chance of getting in. I would have not made top 200 with a 29. So this was a pretty important game, so it was pretty tense. I felt like I dominated the opponent for the most part, but he had a good team. He's obviously a very good player being 27-1, and one, so it was a tough game. So, okay, so this is the first goal here. The bridge dribble, man. Just watch this back. The bridge dribble there. I'm always trying. This is one of the reasons I love the 4-4-2. I'm always passing between these two, going back between them, looking to get this bridge set up. The bridge works a lot better on this side than that side. I did a video on skill moves uh, in last week, so go watch that if you want a bit more in depth on the bridge. But the bridge here just works so well. We'll, move, we'll watch it again. I put the dot on the screen by accident. You can see here though, gets there, and when the defender's like there, you can just double tap R1, burst past them, and watch that. Beats the keeper with ease. Keepers rarely save it after a bridge. The shots into the far corner across goal always seem really good. Kier just knocks it past him. It was, I think that was kind of viral with 80 pace. That's a pretty good defender he's done that to. Okay, this goal annoyed me a bit. You can just It was good play by the opponent, but here, I feel like it's marked, but the double tap there just lofts it over my defender. Gets it there, squares it. And here, this is maybe where... Traore might struggle a bit. If that's like a Joe Gomez or a Varane 6 2 6 3, maybe they block that. But um, yeah, pretty well worked by my opponent, to be fair to him. Okay, this is the next goal. See, so, yeah, being patient, I'm pretending almost that I'm going to go out wide, but I always want to go central if possible. Do the bridge, go to shoot. It's good defending, though, by the opponent, so we have to improvise. I look. When I'm there, he probably expects me to go there and shoot on Mane's right. 
I do a quick fake shot that way just to try and kind of catch him out. Hit it across goal. And Mane, you're going to see the winning goal ends up being a pretty insane weak foot shot. But um, yeah, Mane on his weak foot is still pretty insane in the box, to be honest. Okay, this goal, I do not know what I did wrong. Watch it here. I can see the danger is this pass here. So I switch right stick to go there. I go there and look, he hits a left foot shot into the bottom corner through the legs of the defender that I'm holding jockey with to mark. Sometimes you just have to lift your hand up and say you just can get rigged by the game. Like The first goal, I felt a bit unlucky in the double tap pass work, but it was good by the opponent. This one I've completely marked, so I don't really know what I've done wrong there. So, in my game for 30 to see the goal like that, I was a little bit frustrated, to say the least. <clears throat> okay, here's the winner here. You can see that from Mane. Watch that back. I'm just shaping it onto his left. He obviously doesn't want me to go there, so I'm looking to go there, but he's marking it, so I shift it back on the left. A bit surprised this went in, to be honest, but it was a pretty insane finish from Mane. And that ends up winning us the game. That was the big one for the 30, you know. But that probably wasn't the most stressful game of the night. I did it all in one sitting on my Twitch. Um, I'm going to show you the highlights now from a game where I was 3-0 down and made a big comeback to keep the 30, you know, on the cards. Okay, this game had a lot of different stuff in it, so bear with me. Here. <clears throat> this guy apparently finished gold one. But he was, I thought he was pretty damn good, to be honest. So I'll let you see what you guys think. He had a very good team as well. Like He had Eto, CR7, the Freeze Maximum, uh, the Coquelin, Kante, and Bappa. Like his team was good. Look at that fake he does there. So he passes it there. No one ever does these, to be, to be honest. I've really ever, rarely even ever seen anyone do that. And I was a bit surprised it went in. But uh, CR7, yeah, pretty nutty finisher, I guess. So look at that, first time fake. Caught me off guard, that, to be honest. Was not expecting that. So a pretty good goal for him, to be honest, to go 1-0 up. That there, I don't have been like an idiot with Trier. I shouldn't have been diving in like that. But this here, he wins a penalty. I think here I get completely rigged. So I tackle here, get the ball. I'm trying to pass, but it's delayed. Doesn't get rid. Mark that. Tackle him, goes back to him. I don't even think I pressed tackle at the time. Game parents says I did, and I think it's a pretty soft pen as well. After I've tackled him twice. Okay, watch the penalty. You can see here, gets the penalty. Pretty basic penalty down the middle. 2 0. We're in trouble now. Okay, now the goal coming up. I'm I I'll be honest. This was at 26 and hour. The guy had a much better team than me, seemed a very good player, um, and I was getting a bit unlucky. My head started to go a bit. This is a really nice player that he does, by the way. When you do a long pass up to your striker, it's a good way of beating the press. I just dive in there, I pull the run out, I pull Traor out, I shouldn't be doing that. And it's just too easy there. That's that's awful play by me. Any good player is just going to ball roll and finish it. Um, so I was 3-0 down with a long way to go to get back into the game. So here, this was really good patient play by me now. So I'm 3-0 down. I really have to get something going quick, otherwise I'm in trouble. There, a nice fake shot. Kind of copied what he did um, to get the goal. He was doing a lot of offside traps and trying to press me quite high up. So these fake, um, I had to be very patient. The bridge there. Watch that back. That's the sun goal still. You can see here, patient play around the box, not forcing it. Waiting to get into good positions. Bridge there, nice easy finish. The bridge, you can see, like I've scored a few goals right now. It is just crazy, and it is so hard to defend for people. Okay, here I win a penalty now. I think good patient play, pass it into De Bruyne. I've got a really good chance there. I wanted to turn there and shoot, um, after I passed away, well, but he takes me out. He had the rule breakers Quadrado as well, but yeah, I thought. That I'll probably score there if he doesn't take me out. Go down the middle. I aimed left. You can see. Keep a movement. 
or head movement even, he probably thinks I'm going to go that way. And then now this is the winning goal. Good patient play again, go backwards, and then look, the bridge again to set it up. And a bit more shot power there from Son. Can watch it back again. I'm always looking for this bridge dribble, it's just so good. See there, bridge there. You can see that I put three bars of power on. When you get to this position in the box, most people do two to two and a half and the keeper save it. If you can get three bars, it nearly always goes in. I end up winning the game 4-3 from there. Come back from 3-0 down. That was a stressful game. If you was in the stream at the time, you probably had a good laugh. Because um, I get pretty frustrated at the game at times. But that was a big comeback to get the 30 you know. Boys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm trying my best about the content you guys want to see. I've got lots of ideas in the new year coming up for some great spicy content for you boys. I appreciate you all. Hope you guys are enjoying the content and that you've had a good Christmas and have a good new year. Tune back in tomorrow for the tactics video. Appreciate you all. Have a great night.